In this lesson, you're going to learn how to find the endpoint when you're given a midpoint and one of the other endpoints. So I'm going to show you two different methods for doing this. One a more formal method and one kind of like a shortcut method. So let's take a look at this first example. So it says, find the endpoint A of segment AB given that the midpoint M is negative 1, 4 and the other endpoint B is at 2, 9. Now let's graph it. You don't have to graph this each time that you uh, do these problems, but just to kind of help us to visualize. So here's a B at 2, 9. Here's our midpoint at negative 1, 4. And if we were to draw this segment, it basically looks something like, like this, right? So you've got a midpoint, you've got your endpoint, which is 2, 9, the midpoint, negative 1, 4. And then you have this other point here, which we don't know. This is uh, point A, which is what we're trying to solve for. Let's just call it X comma Y. Okay, because we don't know the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. Now, when you find the midpoint, it's like finding an average. Like you add the x-coordinates and divide by 2. That's how you find the middle. And then you add the y-coordinates and divide by 2. So just like an average. So what we're going to do is we're going to say x plus 2 divided by 2 equals the x-coordinate of the midpoint. And we're going to do the same thing for the y's. y plus 9 divided by 2 equals the y-coordinate of the midpoint. Okay, now we're going to solve these two equations. We're going to multiply both sides by 2. Instead of dividing by 2, we're going to do the opposite, multiply both sides by 2. So now we have x plus 2 equals negative 2. And if we subtract 2 from both sides, you can see that x equals negative 4. Over here, if we multiply both sides by 2, we get y plus 9 equals 8. And if we subtract 9 from both sides, we get y equals negative 1. So the coordinates of our, our point here, a, is going to be at negative 4 negative 1, and if we plot that, you can see this is left 4, down 1 right here, and you can see that the midpoint is halfway between uh, point A and point B. Now, I was telling you there's a shortcut method for doing this, and let me see if I can show you this. So what you would do is you'd say, hmm, how am I getting from 2 to negative 1? Well, you can see I'm subtracting 3. So if I do that same thing, if I subtract 3 again, negative 1 minus 3 gives us negative 4, right? Let's do the same thing for the y. So how am I getting from 9 to 4? I'm subtracting 5. So if I subtract 5 again, what's 4 minus 5? Negative 1. Now, you're, this is good for taking like a standardized test, but usually when you're doing it like on a test in your class, your teacher's going to want to see the use of the midpoint formula here. So let's take a look at another example. See if you can do this one on your own. Okay, for number 2, we have find endpoint j of segment JK, given that the midpoint M is at negative 2, 1, and the other endpoint K is at the point 2, negative 2. How would you do that one? See if you can pause the video. Try this one on your own. Uh, the way I like to do it is just draw a segment. And it doesn't have to be like a perfect graph, like in a XY coordinate plane. You can just draw something just kind of back of the envelope style here, where we have endpoint J, endpoint K, and the midpoint here in the middle. That's negative 2, 1. J we don't know, so let's call that x comma y, and k we do know, which is at 2 comma negative 2. So let's do the formal method first. So what I would do is I would average the two endpoints to get the midpoint. So I'm going to say x plus 2, so add the two x coordinates together, and divide by 2, and that equals the x coordinate of the midpoint. And let's do the same thing for the y, so we're going to say y plus negative 2 divided by 2 equals the y-coordinate of the midpoint. Okay, now all we have to do is solve. So I'm gonna, instead of dividing by 2, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. That way these cancel. We've got x plus 2 equals negative 4. If I subtract 2 from both sides, we get x equals negative 6. And over here, if I multiply both sides by 2, the 2's cancel. We get y plus negative 2 equals 2. And if I add 2 to both sides, you can see that y is coming out to 4. And so that's the end point over here. It's going to be at the point, so j is at uh, negative 6, comma, 4. Now, another way to check your work is to go ahead and look at negative 6, 4. You could say negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Divided by 2 is negative 2. That checks out. 4 plus negative 2 is 2. Divided by 2 is equal to 1. That checks out. Or if you want to do that shortcut method where I'd say, okay, how am I going from this x-coordinate to this x-coordinate? I'm subtracting 4. 
So 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And then negative 2 minus 4 again gives us negative 6. Same thing here. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. And that's a quick shortcut way to check your work. So great job if you're able to follow the concepts here in this video. If you want more practice and you want to see some more examples, follow me over to that previous video that I did talking about midpoints and finding endpoints. And I'll see you over in that video. I'll see you there.